what do you need to know ahead of tax season if you're planning to give back today? So joining us this morning is Liz Shea Baker, CEO of Broussant Capital Management. Liz, good morning. Good to see you. Morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of the end of the year here. It's just a good time to really go over your tax strategies uh, at this time, isn't it? It sure is. And what do you mean by doing that? What should you be doing? <laughs> So there are lots of ways to, to maximize your tax situation, especially on Giving Tuesday. So there are ways to um, get tax benefits while you're also giving back um, to charities and causes that matter to you. So some of the strategies that go beyond just giving cash might be uh, donating long-term appreciated securities rather than selling uh, stocks that have appreciated or mutual funds that have appreciated, you can sell or instead of selling them, you can donate them rather than paying a capital gains tax. You can also establish a donor advised fund. So sometimes people will have um, cash or securities that they wanna donate and they might not be sure what causes they wanna impact. So a donor advised fund lets you fund it and take the deduction this year but make those choices along the way and grant things um, in, into the future. Um, if you are age 70 and a half or 72 and you are required to take a minimum distribution from your IRA accounts, you can do what's called a qualified charitable distribution um, up to $100,000 and you can, uh, instead of taking that distribution, you can donate it to charities of your choice um, and you will not have to pay ordinary income tax on um, those donations. Okay, this might be a broad question, but uh, we're talking about tax write-offs, every time there's a new administration, things change. Do you think tax write-offs will change much next year? It is so hard to say. We've been on a roller coaster ride um, all of this year. Uh, what we can tell right now, it looks like they are going to um, stay kind of status quo, although there are a couple items that are expiring at the end of this year um, due to the CARES Act. So if you take the standard deduction on your on your tax return, um, you can contribute cash, $300 if you're single, $600 if you're married, and also claim a deduction, whether or not you itemize or not. That is only allowed through the end of this year. Um, it also temporarily, the CARES Act also temporarily allows you um, if you're itemizing and you want to make a larger cash donation, so this only works with cash, that you can take a deduction up to 100% of your adjusted gross income. Hey Liz, some, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. So there are, there are some ways um, that you can make a bigger impact in 2021. So we're talking about Giving Tuesday, giving back. Uh, a lot of families really struggling right now with inflation and the high cost of things. If you maybe don't have money to give back, it's also, uh, can be a good day to donate your time and do things like that. Absolutely. Uh, we, at my firm, we call that dollars for doers. So um, we uh, like to give back as a, as a firm to our community. And if you don't have the cash to make those donations, we definitely um, volunteer our time. So that is a great way to give back. And I know you're big on giving back to teaching your family to give back too. It's very important to, to teach those principles. So Liz, thank you so much for your time.